This kit is um, a very easy kit for learning to solder. If you've already soldered before, this will be super simple. But let um, me show you also, I have TV Be Gone, TV Be Gone Pro. Because sometimes you need a professional. Uh, this turns TVs off at 100 meters away. But um, <laughs> sometimes it's important because if the TV is sort of over there, you got to bounce it off the wall and uh, make the world a better place. But uh, this is TV gone. It's not a phone. And when I push the button, you can see the little red light blinking. That's just to let you know it's working. And I want to show you infrared is light that we can't see. And this does lead up to the project we're going to build today. Um, so if I point this at you, you can't see the really bright light coming out of this. That's because it's invisible. Uh, but if I grab my phone, which has a camera, and turn the camera on, you should be able to see, there we go. See, it's actually really bright light. Let me show you this kit that I hacked to get to this one. Okay, so this is a kit called a mini POV. Um, mini because it's miniature. Uh, POV in this case stands for persistence of vision. Persistence of vision is a phenomena that when light hits your vision system, you continue to perceive it for a little bit longer even after all the light goes away forever. Okay, and it allows you to uh, put vision together uh, that we perceive in the external world. And when I wave it back and forth, through persistence of vision, you'll be able to see the message I put in here, which is this. Ah. It's a message I like. <laughs> um, this is an infrared LED. The exact same ones that are in TV Be Gone and TV Be Gone kit. They shine infrared light. And the light is aimed this way out of the board. If you put your hand in front of it, the infrared bounces off your hand and hits the board and hits this infrared detector. And every time you wave your hand over, it goes red, green, blue, and then lots of other colors. Um, but you can interact and get waves of colors. Why don't you um, open up your uh, bag? You can just nick it with the little wire cutters. But if you solder, you will burn yourself. For the first step of soldering is clean the tip. One, two. We need to cut the excess leads off. We want to cut with the tip of the wire cutter. That gives us much more control. So next one would be the switch. And that can go in either way. And then you can put in the infrared LED long as plus. Yeah, and then uh, it's really the last part. And this one you don't really have to do, but this is for if you ever want to reprogram it. Okay. Yeah, and that one, push down as far as it'll go, but it won't go all the way. Okay. And don't force it. Now the final part. Um, how do you feel with the... Looking good. Okay. If you ever want to reprogram your microcontroller, either to change the color sequence or to do something totally different, uh, you can hack this board. All the documentation is on my website, cornfieldelectronics.com.